All right, it is Monday, May 10th. Got three TTMs here. We're going to look at those here in a bit. Also, a whole bunch of purchases to take a look through. All unsigned stuff here, as far as I know. I don't think it's any trades, any autographs or anything, but a uh, whole bunch of stuff here, at least, to look through and uh, mention what they're all going to go towards. So we'll go ahead and break those open as quick as I can here. Get through that very fast if I'm able to. Uh, let's see. This one's actually from, came from up in Canada. I don't remember what that might be, and I have no idea off the top of my head. So, yeah, we'll just find out. Come on. Probably in hindsight, should have grabbed some scissors or something for this, but uh, screw it. There we go. It at least peeled off. Very nicely packaged, at least, here. You know, well protected. And Okay, yeah, this was an eBay purchase that... Uh, Sort of helps out with my uh, tops total set. Reason being that uh, I'll show you here the back of the card first. It's one of the team checklist cards in there, which I'm not collecting for this uh, the tops total set. But the front of it is uh, it's Todd Bertuzzi that's on the front of it. And Bertuzzi is one where I'm missing his base card signed. So I figured you know being able to grab at least this one to be a placeholder for a little bit. It was worth the five bucks or so that I spent on it. So I think it was, including shipping on that. So you know. To me, that's worth it just as a placeholder, at least. So, you know, got that uh, visual filler there, at least, for a little while until I can get the regular one filled in. So, good stuff there. eBay pickup right there. Forgot that was coming in. So, moving on. This one's coming from Sacramento. I think this one is just a purchase from Sport Lots. Got a whole bunch of stuff coming in from Sport Lots here in the next uh, couple of days, hopefully. And, yeah, this is all stuff that's going to go toward my first in-person outing of the regular baseball season. Not including that hockey outing and the... Uh, Brief baseball side trip that we made with that one, but we we'll be going over to Cleburne of the American Association here in a couple of weeks. And so one of their coaches right now, there we go, is former major leaguer Logan Watkins. So found a few cards of his unsigned right there to take with me. And also uh, one of the players, I'm not sure if it's for Cleburne or for Lincoln they're going up against, is uh, former Kansas City minor league uh, pitcher Carter Hope. So... Hopefully we get all of those signed here pretty soon. That's what most of these sport lots pickups are going to be, is stuff related to that future outing that I've got going on here. So, another one here, this one's actually just from over in Little Elm, Texas, just a uh, little ways, I think, kind of south of here, somewhere around there. It's not too far, at least. I know it's somewhere in the, somewhere in the greater Metroplex area, I guess is the best way to put it, but uh, let's see if we can get in. There we go. Come on. And yeah, another Sport Lots pickup right here. A couple of cards to uh, protect it there. Including, oh, Haywood Jeffries, who I just got back in the mail. But yeah, here we go. It's a Logan Watkins, another one of him right there. That's the uh, Purple Refractor card. So, got a whole bunch of Logan Watkins. I figured I'd stock up on him because, I mean, he's one of the team's coaches. So there's a good chance that I'll end up, you know, seeing him multiple times during the season. Because I'm planning on trying to do a bunch of games out there. So it's good to have a few uh, extras on him. There we go. Peel that off. I hate when they use scotch tape on these things. It's tough to take off of there. It leaves a sticky residue behind, so it makes the uh, top loader tough to reuse. It's like, spend that little bit of tiny extra amount of money and get some painter's tape or something. Please, people. Please. So, moving on, another one here. This one coming from Illinois. More Sport Lots stuff, I do believe. Love when they package them in like a green card like this. It always is, uh, makes for some solid protection there and all that. But, all right, so yeah, this is uh, John Ritchie and Logan Verrett's cards. Logan Verrett is a former major leaguer. He was actually with uh, one of the teams Double A a couple of years ago because I got him in person over in Frisco. But,. Got uh, also John Ritchie along with it and uh, Mason Melitakis. So, a couple there to get signed. And yeah, there's that Logan Verrett, Verrett, whatever it is, card. Another one of Melitakis right there as well. So, a couple more to throw on into the pile. Moving right along. This one is from the dealer A Card fan out of uh, Martinsville, Virginia. This one I know I bought like about eight or ten cards from, I think. So, kind of surprised it all came in this uh, small of an envelope, but. Well protected and saves on shipping costs, so uh, I'm totally down with that. And so, from a card fan, we have, again, some very well uh, super protected stuff here. 
try to peel through this as quickly as I can. Oh, good, it's already got a slight slip inside there, so I can hopefully get these out relatively easily and quickly, maybe not so much. See if I can rip through this side as well. Uh, not so easy on this side. We'll say scotch tape is fine if you're not putting it right on your top loaders or sleeves or whatever, but yeah, if you're if you're dealing with a top loader sleeve, don't don't use scotch tape, please. Please just work with me here, people. So, there we go. Something like this on a team set bag, yeah, I'm totally good with that. Do what you want with those. So let's see who we have here. We've got um more Logan Watkins, a Kurt Smith, two Kurt Smith cards. Right there. I think he's one of the ones that is with Lincoln. Speaking of which, Lincoln's hitting coach is Tommy Gregg, former Pirate and Brave. He will only sign Pirates cards, will not sign anything with the Atlanta Braves. So, uh, unfortunately, what kind of screws all that up is he only has, I think, three cards from Major League releases with the Pirates. And this is one of them, and that is definitely not Tommy Gregg shown there. That's Randy Milligan. So I'm hoping that maybe I can get Gregg to sign the back of it or something like that. So we'll see how that goes, at least. Uh, let's get the second little packet out of here, if I can peel it off easily. There we go. That worked. And so from this one, there's more tape on there. There we go. And so from this one, we have John Ritchie, Logan Verrett, Logan Verrett, and Logan Watkins. So there you go. A few more to, a uh, few more guys you've already seen in this one before. And finally, a bigger packet, also from the same purchase, same generic kind of stuff should be in here. And we've got also a couple of pickups I needed for my 72 project. I was able to get some uh, lower condition ones from this particular dealer that uh, will be nice fillers in there. And actually one that I can TTM here pretty quickly as well. Speaking of scotch tape, there it is again. So at least slide this out. And no, of course I can't, so that's fun. Painter's tape, people. If you're if you're watching this, please don't don't use scotch tape. Get get a roll of painter's tape. It comes off easily. Please just just do that for me for me and for everybody else in the collecting world. There we go. Almost there. Let's see if I can. All right. There we go. Ah, I thought I had that piece off. See, if you don't want to deal with delays in videos like this one, then please. Use uh, painter's tape. I, I could come up with these for hours, I think. I mean, this is uh, one of my biggest annoyances in the collecting world is people who don't use painter's tape. Almost there. Come on. Ah. Once again, thought I had it. Not quite. There we go. Good enough for now. All right, so. may have seen them there while I was struggling with the tape, but uh, so we've got the 72 tops. Tom Seaver Boyhood Photos card, which I did not have this one yet. I mean, obviously it's unsigned and everything. I won't be able to get it signed, but I need at least to fill in the gap there. So glad to be able to pick that one up. It's, you know, kind of off condition, but not really too bad at all. Better price than I've seen on it at anywhere else in quite a while. And the other one I got is a 72 high number here of Gil Garrido. Solid TTMer apparently when I was uh, looking through my notes. So that was probably going to be going out here in the next couple of days. We'll put those right over there. And... Take a peek at the rest of these cards that I got here as well for the trip out to Cleburne. So we have here another Logan Watkins, a couple of him, Johnny Barbato. I think he's with Lincoln, if I remember right. Logan Verrett, another Johnny Barbato. Got a David Vidal, who I think is with Lincoln as well, if I remember right. Another Logan Verrett, another Tommy Gregg. Uh, that one again there with uh, Randy Milligan. And... Two minor league pickups here of Tommy Gregg, one with Nashua, one with Harrisburg. So hopefully it has nothing against minor league cards there either. I can get these ones done then as well. So plenty of stuff there to take with me over to uh, the west side of the DFW Metroplex. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's all those. So now I can finally get down to what you all came here for, I'm sure, which is the actual TTMs. So we have here three, as I said. Go ahead and start with this one first. DF are the initials on it. It's postmarked on the back from Eugene, Oregon. So you can probably guess who this one is. This will be a uh, Football Hall of Famer, actually. Mr. 
Dan Fouts should be who I'm pulling out of this envelope. There we go. And yes, indeed it is. So I'll show you, uh, let's see, we'll go with these two here. Didn't quite turn out so well, unfortunately, on the duel there with Roger Staubach, but you can kind of see it up there. <coughs> Not exactly the best functioning marker there, but it works out all right. Might send that off to Staubach, might not, not sure yet. I mean, Staubach charges, I think it's 10 bucks, maybe even 20 per. So it's like, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. Moving on here, we've got JF is postmarked from Santa Ana, California. It's going to be a racer and this time it's not a NASCAR racer, but a, a funny car racer. I believe it's going to be in here. Should be Mr. John Force, one of the greats of the funny car world. And indeed it is. Sent three, he signed two, sent back the other one unsigned, which I'm totally good with that. So there you go. It's actually a double of this one there, so we may just have a no doubles policy, may be my guess on that. But very happy to get those ones back. About a uh, one month or thereabouts, turn around on it. Last one we've got here, a postmark from Charlotte, North Carolina. The initials are RCC. I think this one's going to be a NASCAR one. I think this should be Cole Custer coming back in this envelope. And yes, indeed, that is who we've got here. Very quick, uh, short signature out of him there, but check those out. There you go. So, once again, great way to start the week. There are three TTM successes, a bunch of purchases and such going on in there as well. Hopefully we'll have some more coming in later on this week as well. So, keep it tuned right here. we got Tuesday, hopefully, coming up right after this. Hey, everybody. It is Tuesday. It is absolutely disgusting outside right now. 57 degrees. That's, that's a great temperature right there. Um... 94% humidity, not so great, and when you add in a breeze and this, like, misting thing that, the, that the, the clouds are doing right now, not quite raining, but, you know, just enough to uh, make it feel really gross when you walk down and get the mail. But uh good part, though, of all that is I've got two TTMs and two purchases both uh, coming in today, so go ahead and take a look at those, so at least it makes the walk to the mailbox worth it, you know, so... What do we got here? I believe these are both, uh, actually one, I think, my, yeah, I think they're both, uh, yeah, they're both from my Sport Lots purchase. It's an easy to rip through this envelope with the uh, very gross air there, uh, kind of softening it up, but yeah, here we go. So, uh, let's see here, a few more to add for my upcoming outing. Come on, there we go, almost there, almost there we go, we got it. And so, yeah, these ones we've got uh, another one of David Vidal. Also some John Ritchie in there. Um, God. They used gaffer's tape to close this up, which actually worked out decently. Didn't leave any uh, sticky residue behind on there. So uh, thumbs up to them for that one. But, yeah, so like I said, we've got some stuff for that with uh, David Vidal, Carter Hope, John Ritchie, and a second John Ritchie. So... Extra stuff there to be able to get signed. Uh, moving on, we'll go to the next bigger shipment here. Come on. Throwing stuff all over the place here. There we go. All right. This one I thought was coming in yesterday, and it got some weird message about uh, that they couldn't drop it off or something. Some, you know, some kind of alert on there for some reason they couldn't deliver it, but got here just fine today. Not sure what the deal was there, but... So, out of this one... It's just a few more for the uh, outing. Let's see if I can figure out how to get into this one. Everybody has their own different way of doing packaging on here, and sometimes they work out really well, and sometimes not so much. And uh, this one's going to take a little bit of effort to get into. It looks like, but let's see what we can do here. It's two pieces of cardboard with uh, packing tape all around it. So we didn't damage any of the cards inside. There we go. Finally found an edge. We go, found the good edge of it too, so almost there, almost there, got it, up, 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 there we go, okay. So yeah, this one's got some stuff for my uh, Cleburne trip, also just some stuff as filler material for my Diamond Kings, including the Dale Murphy one right there, that hopefully I'll be able to get signed uh, somewhat soon-ish, maybe. He does a lot of private signings, he's done a few appearances at some... Uh, Shows and stuff before. I got him at the National in 2014, I think it was. So we'll see what happens. Clayton Kershaw there for the uh, 72 minis as well. I sent that off and never got it back. But yeah, there we go. Got uh, two Tommy Gregg cards to hopefully get signed out in Cleburne. 
Also some more John Ritchie, three of him, another Logan Verrett, another John Ritchie, and a Logan Verrett. So there you go. Bunch more to sort into my pile over here, plus stuff I need for the sets. But now, let's go ahead and take a look at the TTMs. This one, first up, postmark from Kansas City. The initials on are TD, and I think this one is going to be Tim Dwight. My second attempt on him. My first one came back totally unsigned, which was really weird. He's still been signing recently, so we'll see what happened here. And there we go. Okay, good. So this one sent four cards. He signed three. He didn't sign this one, which is interesting. He didn't do the uh, that uh, draft picks card from the uh, 98, is that season opener? Yeah, 98 season opener set. Kind of weird. He didn't sign that one, but he did sign doubles there of the score card that I had and a tops total. So not sure what the deal was there for why, if there's any reason he won't sign that one, but uh, I'll take it. Whatever. Three out of four. Pretty good. Other one we've got here. This is from MH, Cincinnati, Ohio. I looked this one up. I'm already forgetting who it is. I don't remember. And yeah, it's not coming to me. And oh yeah, that's right. Former running back for the Steelers, former uh, commentator on ESPN, Merrill Hodge. Signed all four cards I sent. There's two of them right there. So, there you go. Happy to get those ones all back there. A nice football day at the mailbox. And so the week rolls on. Two successes in two days. Hopefully we're going to have some more coming up with Wednesday right after this. And if not Wednesday, then okay, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, something at least. Hopefully we'll have some more here for this week. All right, it is Thursday. Got this big pile of mail right here. Nothing in Wednesday, unfortunately. Just a uh, purchase from Sport Lots. A couple more cards for my future outing over to uh, Cleburne. That's going to be in several of these envelopes here. I'm going to start with those first. Let's see here. If I can get into this. There we go. This one has uh, one actually for my Corey Snyder project. Collection, whatever you want to call it. But I've been looking around a while for this one, had trouble finding it, and finally came across a dealer on Sport Lots who had it for, I think it was like 45 cents plus like a buck or so shipping. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and jump on this one while I see it, because I haven't seen it much. And that's the 95 score Platinum Team Sets card right there. A little sparkly thing going on there. So I've been looking around for this one for a while, finally got it added. Very happy to have found that one. Next up, let's see here. So this one I know is definitely going to be for the uh, the Cleburne game. It's Cleburne versus Lincoln that I'm going to be going out to. It's an American Association game. Cleburne's about a 45-minute drive for me. Not really too bad. It's about the same distance that Frisco would be. And since the minor leaguers really aren't signing a whole lot, I'm like, ah, we'll go ahead and pick Cleburne because they've said they're going to go ahead and have signings going on on the concourse. So it's like, all right, might as well. So, yeah, this one has a couple more that I will need for that game and a few after that. There we go. And so, we have here... If I can get all of these out, there we go. Logan Watkins, two Logan Watkins and two John Ritchies in here. So, add those to the pile there and check those, uh, check those off as ones I'm waiting on. Another Sport Lots purchase here. This one's another one for the Corey Snyder collection. This is actually going to be a uh, bit of an upgrade for me. I'll explain the card here in a bit. So, uh, for a long time, Corey Snyder's uh, most expensive card was when he was on the 86 Fleer rookie card with Cecil Fielder. Because, of course, you know, this is coming right off of Cecil Fielder's 50 home run season. Looks like he's going to be huge, not just in size, but in uh, quality of play. Fortunately, it kind of fell off a bit after that, but... Uh, yeah, for a long time, that card was a $20 card on book value. And so when I was about like seven or eight years old, came across one at a card show that was uh, not exactly in the greatest condition, but still, you know, good enough at least. And they wanted 12 bucks for it, which was a little bit beyond my uh, capabilities at that time as a kid with a $2 a week allowance. So uh, fortunately, though, my mom, uh, my mom and dad were with me, and so uh, my dad and I go off, and my mom's like, oh, hey, i got to run into the store real quick, and she actually doubled back around to the, to the table and said, I'll buy it, his birthday's coming up, and so got that for my birthday one year, but I figured that when I found one on Sport Lots for a quarter plus, like, 75 cents shipping, that I'd go ahead and up the uh, condition there of this one, so very nice condition right there. I mean, those are, you know, four pretty decent corners on it, no... Uh, a little bit of chipping at the bottom, nothing too bad. Great centering on it, so definitely a condition upgrade, and you can't beat it for only a buck. Obviously, I'm still hanging on to the one that my parents got me, too, so 
Anyways, we've got a package here, a small package, from a Facebook trade that I made. If I can figure out how, where the end of the tape is on here, we'll go ahead and break into that. And yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be a tough one to open. I cannot figure out where the end of it was. I thought I had a piece of it and kind of lost it. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead, oh, there we go. We're going to go ahead and pause until I get this thing opened up, so uh, bear with me here for a moment. Starting from here, in three, two, one. Finally got it open up there. So, all right. This is a trade that I made on Facebook. Helps me out with my 70, uh, not 72, the uh, 2013 Heritage set. Had a bunch of inserts there. I got from that hot box. You may remember seeing a couple weeks ago. And I had a guy who was willing to trade them a bunch, trade me a bunch of uh, high numbers. For them. I held on to one of them. I did keep the, uh, oh, what do you call it, the Alec Baum rookie card that I had. That was the uh, purple refractor. But I did trade all the other refractors and the two die cuts and got a nice little stack here of the short prints. So, got Griffin Canning, Drew Pomeranz, Christian Vasquez, Dwight Smith Jr., uh, Shogo Akiyama, a Matt Davidson, also got uh, Robinson Cano. I tried to go for guys that I think might have a chance of getting to sign at some point. So Cano has occasionally done a little bit of TTMing recently. Um, I it feels like uh, Matt Davidson might have at some point too. I think I might have a chance of, like Nicky Lopez or something. A friend of mine got me some Will Smith a couple years ago at a uh, signing. So I'm hoping, you know, maybe that'll happen again. Maybe, hopefully. A pair of twins here in Rich Hill and Mitch Garver, both of whom I've seen signing a little bit. It's, uh, somewhat recently at least. Got a Jose Osuna, got a Gio Urshela, former Indian, Dylan Cease, a guy that I got in the minor leagues at one point, in person, Rymel Tapia, a guy you may have seen uh, you get a couple weeks ago is uh, Corbin Burns, a couple months ago I guess by now, the guy that I got about a year ago or two was, whoa, lost him there, is uh, Josh Reddick, who I got in his 72 Mini from the 2013 set, also Trevor Bauer and Whit Merrifield as well, so... Hopefully be able to send off some of those at some point, or maybe have some way of getting them to sign. So now let's go ahead and get down to the TTMs. I'm going to start out with this one. You may remember back in mid-February, I was supposed to get like three or so in, and uh, they all got, uh, well, none of them showed up when they were supposed to on informed delivery, but then like two weeks later... Two of them showed up with the yellow Return to Sender sticker on them, and this one never did, but, well, lo and behold, there it is today. So, this one had the initials of TG on it. Um, no postmark at any point there from before, so... I uh, think this one, though, if I remember right, he was in... Uh, if it is who I think it is, then it's Tim Green, so it came from New York, I believe. And yeah, it was postmarked from Syracuse, New York, originally, and then they slapped the Return to Sender on it, but... So this one's been around, bouncing around somewhere for about the last three months or so. But 
Glad to finally get these ones in. And yes, indeed, it is Tim Green. Looks like there's a note in with it as well. Sign my cards, of course, there, which is great. And he uh, apparently has a book out, it looks like. So uh, a couple books, maybe. Wow. And yeah, he's got a couple of books out. So he's put in some uh, advertisements about those in with that. And also signed three cards here as well. So uh, one of them got beaten up pretty well, but the others ended up just fine. So there you go. Tim Green got him back. Very happy to see those ones finally return to me. Got another one that's been out for a little while. This one, the initials are DA, and it is from the North Texas Dallas uh, office, post office, whatever you call the center there. But this one, I believe, is going to be a former Green Bay Packer, and I think it's going to be Donnie Anderson that we've got here. And yes, indeed it is. Did not sign the index card, but did sign these two cards right here. And there you go. Got the Super Bowl I logo card and the 72 Tops football card there. So very happy to get those ones back as well. And finally, cover this up as best I can. See if you can see what the uh, address or the postmark, I should say, is on here and the stamp with it. That is Australia. Finally, my first one coming back from my mailings to Australia of former Australian Rules Football League players. So let's see who we've got here. The initials on it are DH. I looked it up earlier, but uh, let's go ahead and open it on up here. Hopefully it turned out as good as I hope it did. And yeah, it did. This is from Doug Hawkins. I think how many... 216 career goals at the time this card was made. And I think it was made right at the end of his career because they did a tribute card of him in the set as well. But I'll show you right here first to the two cards there. This came out quite awesome. Playing for, uh, with, yeah, playing for the Lions in this one. I think this is before they merged with Brisbane. I think they're still Footscray Lions at this point. And yeah, signed the, uh, had a double of that one. So he signed that one as well. And my custom index card here too. Put the Footscray Bulldogs logo on it and uh, put that he's a midfielder and forward and all that. But put those together in with each of the players I sent off to. So there you go. My first ones to come back from Australia. My first ever AFL autographs. Super happy to see those ones. So there you go. Great day at the mailbox here. Hopefully it continues on into tomorrow at Friday and hopefully some Saturday stuff on the way. Fingers crossed. But yeah, that's uh, it's a pretty awesome way to go here on this Thursday at least. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully we've got more right after this. All right, it is Friday the 14th. Um, had some technical difficulties on my first go around. It looks like they may still be continuing right now. We'll find out more here in a bit, I think. But uh, take a look at this real quick here. First off, I opened this one already, so uh, you'll just have to bear with me here. But say from a purchase I made out of a Facebook group a couple days ago, just got here today. And it is set hits on Mike Norris and Bob Brenly for my Diamond Kings projects. So two more to add to those. Great to get those ones in, courtesy of, I believe it was Greg Johnston, if I remember right. And we also have one TTM right here now. Uh, the initials on this one are JW, and the postmark is Oakland, California. Now, I looked through, and since I started putting the initials there on my uh, requests, I've only sent out to two JWs. One of them is uh, Jake Westbrook, former pitcher for the Indians, Cardinals, and a couple other teams' organizations. I know it was in the Yankees org. He might have been the Rockies org, I think, for a bit. Padres, maybe something like that. And the other one is Joey Wendell of the Tampa Bay Rays, current player. And so uh, I'm sitting there, I'm going, neither of those guys are in Oakland, but I looked and Tampa Bay played in Oakland last weekend. So pretty sure there's going to be Joey Wendell right here, and it'll be my first that I've gotten back from an active player in a while by sending through the team. So let's check this out. Yes, indeed, it is Joey Wendell. So he signed the, uh, what is this? Number 9 out of 60, this uh, prism insert. I don't know exactly which prism that is. It just looks cool as all hell. It was one of the few cards I could find of him. And my first set hit for the 2012 Topps Heritage set is right there. Joey Wendell by mail. Coming back to me. So the project is officially afoot now on the uh, Topps Heritage set. So first one to go for that one. First uh, active player I've gotten back sent through a team in a while. So... Definitely excited to see those coming in. So, once again, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, we're going to have some cool stuff to show off tomorrow as well on Saturday. If we do, it'll be right after this. If not, I'm sure I'll have something else to say. So, yeah, there's still more. <laughs>
Hey everybody, it is Saturday and I've got one here in the mailbox. I totally opened up my spreadsheet to look and see who it might be and I totally forgot to check, so uh, I'm kind of flying blind here. Initials are TS, the uh, address on it is Phoenix, Arizona. Feels like maybe two cards in there. Kind of what we've got here. Ah yes, this is a uh, one for the NASCAR collection. This would be Tom, or, well, I should say all of racing collections. This guy's not a NASCAR guy, but he is a racer, and that is Tom Sneva. So there you go. Those ones came back about a month or so, I want to say. Total turnaround time on there. Pretty quick response. So there you go. Finishing off the week right with one in the mailbox. And so there you go. Thanks for tuning in again this week. Um, check out sportscardforum.com. A lot of great information on there. If you happen to sign up there, tell them that Censored sent you. That's asterisk, Censored asterisk on the screen name for it. And, uh, of course, if you haven't hit the subscribe button here just yet, go ahead and do so. It's down there somewhere below the video. And, yeah, that's it. Hope your mailboxes are full next week. Hopefully mine is, too, and I'll have some stuff to show off there. And, uh, yeah, should hopefully have some other info coming up here pretty soon as well for a project I've been working on that uh hoping to launch somewhere around the start of June or so. So, uh, yeah. Keep it right here next week. We'll see what we've got for it. See you around. Hey, everybody. It's Monday the 17th. And you're probably noticing this is a uh, super long video here because uh, I got going on a lot of other things this weekend with uh, the hopeful website that I'm going to have come up here soon. A um, bunch of other stuff. And the last week's just been real busy with all sorts of things. I kind of forgot that videos don't just edit themselves. I forgot to get last week's one put up. So I'm just going to go ahead and start this week off with... Uh, we're going to go ahead and do like two weeks in a row straight through on one video. I think it's probably going to be the best way to handle this. So, uh, yeah, here we are. Start of a new week, middle of an old video. So, uh, good thing is, though, we've got a three TTMs coming back and also a purchase right here. I believe this is the last one I had on Sport Lots coming in for my uh, upcoming outing next uh, this coming weekend, actually. So, wow, this video might end up super, super long because of that. So... Yeah, way, way to think this one through, Drew. Nice nice job on that. So, go ahead and open this on up, though, and see. And, yeah, this is going to be a Sport Lots order. He has the last few cards I'm waiting on for Cleburne versus Lincoln. A couple of cards I think you've already seen before. They're kind of doubles of ones I think I've already got here. But go ahead and crank out the other ones here. There we go. And so, what we have here, uh, let's see here. Okay, yeah, so there's a couple new ones. So, have a, uh, let's see, your minor league card of Tommy Gregg. That one's a new one that I needed. Uh, like I said before, he only signs Pirates and minor league stuff. I won't sign any Braves items, so hopefully he'll do that Indianapolis Indians one. One of John Ritchie right there, and one of outfielder Zach Nairer from the uh, 2016 Midwest League Top Prospects set back when he was playing for, uh, he just played for Hillsborough, so he was playing yeah, for, yeah, the Kane County Cougars on this one. So, there you go. I'll add those to my boards to get those hopefully signed uh, this weekend. And now, time to go ahead and take a look at all of these TTMs. Got three of them, as I said, coming in. Uh, let's see here. I looked up who they are. I see if I can remember them. First off, we've got a uh, one from Greensboro, Piedmont Triad area, North Carolina. There's a double postmarked on it. That's crazy. But as soon as the initials of BL on it, I believe this is going to be NASCAR driver Bobby Labonte in here find out. And yeah, that is Bobby Labonte that we've got there. Signed all four cards I sent. There's two of them right there. And so, there you go. Cool stuff there to start things out. Moving on to our next one. This is on this one, our PD. It doesn't have a postmark. I think this might be kind of a local one, and I think it's a guy who uh, probably has had a busy last couple of days with everything uh, going on in the air here. Weatherman and former minor league pitcher Pete Delkis, and yeah, that is who we've got here. Currently does the uh, TV uh, weather for uh, WFAA here in Dallas. You know, a couple comments in previous weeks when I got the unsigned ones, a remark that he's uh, bounced around a little bit. I think Cincinnati, somebody said, or something like that. But there you go. There's a couple of those Pete Delkis cards signed, so very happy to get those ones back. And so one more envelope to open here. This one, postmark from North Texas. The initials on it are ER. Feels a bit thicker than what I would have expected if this is who I think it is, which is going to be Eddie Robinson, 100-year-old ball player. And let's see what we've got here. Put in a uh, 
info about the Golden Age of Baseball with Eddie Robinson. I believe that is the uh, podcast he's doing. Yeah, let's talk about his podcast that he's got going on there. Signed by him there as well. Um, had the index card there to help add some heft. And yes, indeed, he did sign a 1951 Topps Redbacks card. So there we go. Now I can truly say that I have a complete run of at least one card signed from every top set, now from 51 all the way up to 2020. So hopefully I'll be able to get a 2021 here pretty soon to keep that run going on. But yeah, very happy to get that one back. I mean, Eddie is 100 years old now. And from what I've heard about his podcast, he is as with it as ever, has a lot of great stories on there, an incredible signature too. I mean, seriously, just look at this thing. Not even the slightest bit of shake it seems like to it. So wow, that is, I mean, I'm, I, I'm impressed, frankly. So there you go. Very happy to get that one back. A $10 fee for him by mail. Really happy to get all that done. So once again, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully we're going to have uh, more stuff coming in the mail tomorrow on Tuesday here. Continue this uh, double week edition here on the uh, on the channel. So stick around. See what we've got coming next. Hey, everybody. It is Tuesday, uh, the 18th. And I have one back here that I believe is a TTM failure rather than a success. Um, this one is postmarked from St. Louis, Missouri. The initials under JC. And back on St. Patrick's Day, I wrote to uh, Joe Cunningham, former, uh, I think he was with the, I know he was a longtime Cardinal, also with the White Sox, maybe a couple other teams in there. Pretty solid player, all star a couple times. And uh, unfortunately, after I mailed to him on the uh, there on March 17th, he died on March 24th. So uh, I think unfortunately that's what this is coming back here. So I mean, huge uh, huge thanks to the family for at least uh, sending my items back to me here. Uh, victim of bad timing there on my uh, request and yeah that's uh, what this is so he says uh, they sent back well that's interesting okay so they sent back the two cards i sent the custom index card i sent but they did at least enclose looks like it's a preprint so yeah preprint of that one which uh i know he was sending those out signed for a while though so kind of cool they had a preprint of it though to put in with it and also a uh short letter on st louis cardinal stationery Said, uh, Joe was ill for several months before passing on March 25th, 2021. I'm sorry he did not get to sign your card himself. He loved receiving fan mail. Sincerely, Kathy Cunningham. And it has his, uh, looks like his uh, obit on there as well. So really great of the family, at least, to be able to send those back and all of that. And yeah, unfortunately, like I said, just some bad timing there on uh, mailing out to him a week before he died. So uh, again, though, glad to get my items back. And uh, big thanks there to the Cunningham family. Hope they're doing well. And uh Thanks for uh, getting my items back to me. So, streak ends right there, but hopefully it'll be uh, back up tomorrow. We'll see what we've got coming up here on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, something like that coming up right after this, hopefully. Hey, everybody, it's Wednesday. Um, bad news, no TTMs today. Uh, kind of tends to happen a bit, though, whenever I don't write any new ones. I don't tend to get any back. One of those are related. Anyways, good news, though, is I do have an eBay auction that just came in. That is that I just picked up this complete uh, team set of the 1985 Waterbury Indians. Some tribes, I think, double A level team. Yeah, Eastern League, so double A level team. And the reason I picked this one up is because it has a card that I need for my Corey Snyder collection. So I can pull this real quick, and there it is. It's the uh, very first pro card made of Snyder. 1985, I believe, was this set. Yeah, 85 is the year they came out with this one. And, uh, yeah, he'd had a, set, a card in the 85 top set, but it was with uh, Team USA, the, the 84 Olympic team. So, kind of technically not a pro card then because of that. But, yeah, first one with a minor league team. Not sure who else is in here. Um, I just, you know, picked it up because I need that one card out of it. But I figured maybe there's going to be some possible TTMs here. So, I'll just look through real quick if any of these names stand out to me. I'll make mention of them, but not a whole lot. I know Reggie Ritter played briefly up in the majors as well with the Indians. Oh, there we go. We've got a uh, one of Doug Jones batting on it, so that's kind of cool. That's a, he's a solid TTMer too, so uh, that one might be going out to him here pretty soon. Uh, who else? Dave Clark, not exactly a solid TTMer at all, but I mean, longtime major leaguer with the Indians and the Pirates. I know he was a coach for a while with the Astros, but uh, never got him signed for me in person at all. He was uh, kind of avoided us there in Arlington, but uh, yeah, I'll keep an eye out, see if I ever see him again at some point. Um, Let's see. John Farrell, of course, later went on to manage the Blue Jays and the Red Sox. Uh, Jack Aker was a longtime pitcher for, who was he with? I know he was with the Yankees, uh, Kansas City A's, 
Doesn't say anything else on the back, unfortunately, about who else he might have played for. And also Andy Allenson, not a major signer either. He's done a few private signings, but nothing I really felt the need to get in on. But there we go. I mean, the Corey Snyder card, though, is my main reason for picking that one up. So glad to get that one listed as a third baseman on it. Drafted as a shortstop, kind of came up playing a little bit of everywhere and then finally settled into right field eventually. But yeah, so there we go. No TTMs, but hey, good stuff to get in the mailbox there at least. So hopefully we'll have some more coming up here on uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, something like that right after this. Hey, everybody, it is Thursday, the uh, 20th, and two items here, purchase and TTM. The TTM I didn't know was coming today, but I think I figured out who it is. Purchase here, I'm going to go ahead and show off real quick here. You may recall I got a uh, Corey Snyder card that I needed for my collection the other day, and I've added another one that was a uh, much-needed minor league issue of his. Should be right in here if I can get this cardboard all undone from it. They taped it up real nice. Protected well, give them that. But I uh, found both of these ones, the one I showed off the other day and this one that I've got right here on eBay on the same day and put in an offer on each and uh, end up getting them both. So yeah, there we go. This is his other minor league card. He only had two minor league cards I know of in uh, during his career. So it was the 1986 Main Guides team set. <coughs> Excuse me. And there you go, they actually put him right on the very top of that set. So there you go, another minor league issue to uh, add in there. And a few other guys who played in the majors in here as well, including Doug Jones, I can TTM him again. Uh, Junior Noboa, who I don't believe TTMs. Rich Yet, haven't seen him TTMing recently either. Um, I think Jim Wilson played briefly in the majors as well. No, Jose Roman did. Reggie Ritter. Kurt Wardle was up there for a bit. Dave Clark, I mentioned him the other day. There's one that I needed, Keith Creel. He does some stuff with the Texas Rangers alumni. So uh, hopefully they'll do some alumni events. I can get him at those. Uh, Steve Comer, I got him through the mail recently, I think. Frank Wills made to the majors, unfortunately no longer with us. Died, I think, 2005 or thereabouts, I think, a few years back. Uh, Dave Gallagher, I don't believe he signs, unfortunately. And uh, Brian Olkers, I've actually gotten him to sign. So a few guys I could TTM again if I want to there. And uh, like I said, the big addition for the Corey Snyder collection there. So... Very happy to get those ones in. And we've got one here. Take a look at that stamp. That's another Australian one coming back to me. Initials on this one are JD, and I believe this is one of the greatest players of all time right here in Jason Dunstall. Now a commentator on uh, Fox Footy, does uh, several TV shows there. And let's see if we can get this open. There we go. And we'll find out if this was indeed Jason Dunstall. And yes, that is who we've got right here, and it looks like he signed... Everything I sent, oh, that is really great. Here, I'll show off uh, two of the cards right there, the Legends Limited Edition and the All-Australia Team cards right there. And also signed my Custom Index card right there, put them with the, uh, mentioned the Hawthorne Hawks on there. So there you go, really happy to get those ones back. 1,200 goals kicked in his career, I think it was, something like that. I just looked up a minute ago, I should remember this, but uh, let's see here. He had, uh, yeah, 1,254 career goals. So uh, when he retired, I believe he was either second or third on the all-time goals list. He's only got uh, two ahead of him even now, so still second or third on the list. So, uh, yeah, great stuff there. Really happy to get that one back. I've uh, been watching quite a bit on Fox Footy with uh, his talking on some of the shows and stuff there. So, uh, yeah, fun stuff there. So once again, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully we're going to have some uh, good ways to finish off this week here on Friday and or Saturday. Right up after this. Friday, May 21st. One TTM here. Got a card show, by the way. I'm going to be going to tomorrow. I'm going to try to get you some video from that if I can to show off whatever I pick up there. But right now, like I said, TTM here. The issues on this one are MB, and it is from Australia. This one postmarked from the Adelaide Gateway facility. It looks like at Adelaide Airport. So, I know who this one is. This one's going to be one of the greatest players in North Melbourne history in uh, Malcolm Blight. I'm pretty sure that's who it is. I didn't look it up, but um, that, that all lines up to you because he does radio in Melbourne now. Or not in Melbourne, in uh, um, Adelaide. There we go. And yeah, I was actually wrong on this one. It is the other MB that I wrote to in Adelaide. And so this one is Mark Bickley instead, rather than Malcolm Blight. Either way, though, pretty happy with that. I mean, both guys uh, currently working in radio in the Adelaide area. I think they actually do the same show, even. It's the same station I think they work at, but yeah. So there you go, Mark Bickley, sign that, and also my 
index card there that I put together as well. So there you go. It's my third success from Australia. Second one here in as many days. Very happy to get that one back and uh, hopefully I'll have some more to show off tomorrow on Saturday. At the very least, like I said, hitting that card show tomorrow. So I'll be showing off uh, whatever I pick up from there. Maybe, you know, show a little bit from the floor there. Whatever I feel like putting in there. So there you go. Thanks for tuning in. Let's see what we got next here on Saturday. All right, it is Saturday. Uh, just got back from the card show out in Allen. Picked up a whole lot of stuff to show off there. Also got one TTM in the box as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one first, and we'll go into what I got at the card show. Um, did get, didn't get a chance to look this one up, but uh, it's from GS in North Texas. So let's see what we've got here. I honestly have no idea who it's going to be. So feels like about maybe two cards, maybe three at the most. Oh, there we go. This is going to be Gene Stallings, former coach at, uh, was it? He was a, let's see. Yeah, he was head coach at uh, Texas A&M, and then, of course, later became head coach of the St. Louis and then Phoenix Cardinals. Signed those two cards I sent. He was coached at Alabama for a bit, too, if I remember right, something like that. So, there you go. Glad to get those ones back. They've been out a little while. I think I sent them kind of late, uh, late 2020 or so. So, let's go ahead and take a look and see what I was able to pick up at the card show there. Um, didn't focus as much on buying autographs this time, but uh, did still end up getting a few. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards that I needed for the sets that I'm working on. So, we'll go ahead and show those off first. We got a Vita Blue right there on a Diamond Kings card. Five bucks on the price tag there, which is pretty good. He charges ten by mail, so if I can grab one for five, I will gladly take that any day. Uh, we also got a Lou Whitaker on a Diamond Kings from the 85 set there. $12 price tag on that one, which is great because he charges $25 right now, I believe, by mail. So uh, very happy to get that one for about half the price. Bob Boone, 86 5 bucks on that one. Not bad at all. Uh, Jerry Kuzman got that one for $9. He charges, I think, 10 right now. But his signature has been looking bad lately. So to be able to land a very good-looking one for a dollar cheaper, I'll take that. Uh, moving on, we also picked up a Daryl Strawberry right there. $8 price tag on that one. Very happy to find that one. Tommy John, he's known whose signature has not been looking exactly the best lately, so be able to, being able to get that one for five is pretty good. Also got a few needs for the 72 set, three from one player. That was Manny Sanguian, got his regular base card right there. Also got two of the World Series game cards, games three and six right there. Those are all five bucks each. Very happy to add those ones in because he's not exactly the easiest, uh, easiest guy to get to sign either. So there you go. That's what I got in the way of autographs today. Um, got some unsigned stuff here to show off as well. This stuff's all going to be going out in the mail here pretty soon. A few of these guys you may have seen me get stuff back from in the last year since I've started the channel here. A few guys I've gotten well before that and a few guys I've never gotten at all. But uh, just give you a quick rundown on them. There's uh, Bob and Ken Aspermonti. Picked up a... Uh, 60 and a 68 there. Also got a few cards of... We've got one card of Mike Baxis and one card of Jim Baxis. I didn't even notice that. I thought they were both Mike, but... Uh, at the very least, I know Mike Baxis signs. I'll have to look into Jim and see if he's... If he's still with us and if he signs, both of those. But uh, at the very least, it'll be going out there to uh, Mike Baxis very soon. I also picked up three cards of Gary Bell, including a very nice 61 right there. Quote from Yankee Stadium. Well, let's see, found Ed Brassoud, Duke Carmel, three cards of Dan Dobek, including his uh, 1959 and 1960 Rookie Stars cards right there. So sending off to him here pretty soon. Uh, Chuck Estigian, he's another one that I got years ago, but uh, only had one card. We signed a ballpoint pen, got a little bit smeared, so I figured, you know what, if I can grab these two here and send those off, we'll give those a shot next. So give those a try here soon. Um, another Chuck E with Chuck Estrada. There's a couple cards of Billy Gardner in here, a Jim Gentile. Couple cards of Dick Grote, very solid signer right there. Uh, Russ Heeman, we've got uh, I think Ray Herbert, I think signs still. I'm gonna have to make sure of that one. Uh, picked up three cards of Dave Hillman, two cards of Ed Hobaugh, uh, four cards here of Marty Keough, including his. Uh, let's see here, it's gonna be 61, 61, 62, 63, and 64 cards right there of him. So very happy to find those. These were all at a table, by the way. It had this uh, kind of you know lower condition vintage stuff, all for fifty cents a card. Found I think it was eighty six cards there and. I said, I'll, instead of 43 bucks, he said, hey, I'll give it to you for uh, 35. I'm like, um, yeah, we'll gladly take that extra few bucks there and saved. Uh, got a card of Don Kessinger, Lou Klimchuk, and Denny Lamaster. Moving into the other small batch here. 
took a couple of these uh, empty boxes that were used for packaging immaculate with me, and so they work very well for uh, just keeping cards that are in my big bag. What's that? But who will we have? We got a J.C. Martin. Picked up a few cards of him. Carl Mathias, a Joe Moeller, uh, Gary Nolan, Bob Oldis, a few of Claude Osteen. Show you these two here real quick. Got him in person a few times with the Rangers alumni. He still does a lot with them since he was a pitching coach here and still lives, I believe, right in Arlington. Also got a few of Don Pavlitich, uh, Gary Peters. I'm not sure if Gary Peters... I'll have to check in on him to make sure. I just came across those ones and threw them in. I think I was thinking of Ray Herbert when I found Gary Peters, but hopefully he's still around and signing. I uh, also got one of Leo Posada. Just one? I guess just one of Leo Posada. I thought I'd grab two. I uh, got a Jim Price, a couple of Bobby Richardsons. Uh, these ones... Not exactly the best condition on them, but again, 50 cents each. I'm pretty happy with that. I uh, got a couple of Ray Ripplemeyer. We got a couple of Bob Rogers, Ted Savage, two of him. Dick Schofield, a couple of Bobby Shantz cards. Isn't the Shantz like, God, it's got to be about 2015 or so. So it's been a few years since I sent to him. We've got Joe Shipley. We've got Bob Skinner. Unfortunately, I didn't notice the uh, ink already on that Bob Skinner one right there, but eh, oh well. Got two other ones that look pretty good, though, at least. Got loose skeezes. We've got a couple of Al Spangler, three of Al Spangler there. Dick Stigman, Bill Stoneman, Lee Thomas, Ted Weand. And then a few uh, duels here to work on. Actually picked up this one that you've seen signed recently. Mitterwald and Rennick. I figure, you know, it's one for uh, Aubrey to send out, so get that one on to her. Uh, let's see, you got 64 rookie stars of the Colt 45 featuring Larry Yellen and Jerry Grote. Grote charges, I think, 10 bucks per. I need him on a couple other cards first, but... It was good to have, you know, a project card like that. Uh, one with Mike Adamson and Merv Rettenmund, both good TTMers. Jose LeBoy and Floyd Wicker. The double play combo here of uh, Dick Schofield and Hal Lanier. That one should be pretty cool looking when it gets done. I think both are decent signers. I know I've gotten uh, Lanier, and I think I've sent to Schofield Sr. before as well. The 69 Phillies rookie stars with uh, Larry Colton and Don Money. And a trio here of Sal Bando, Burt Campanaris, and Danny Cater. I think all three of them sign as well. I know I've gotten uh, Bando and Campanaris and Cater signs for five bucks, so hopefully all three of those guys are still signing. I'm actually about to send my 72 off to Cater here soon. So, there we go. Big old pickup of vintage right there at the card show. Got a few set hits, got a TTM in there. Pretty good way to finish off the week. So tomorrow, going out to a ball game for the first time in over a year. Some independent minor league action, and so that's how I'm going to be kicking off next week's volume of the, uh, of the, uh, whatever you call these. I don't even know what to call these. They're not episodes, really. I hate calling them episodes, at least. But, yeah, next week's volume of, uh, whatever I call all these things. So, see some in-person graphing to start next week off, and then, uh, yeah, hopefully another week of full mailboxes. Thanks again for tuning in. Hit the subscribe button down there if you haven't done so yet. And, of course, go and check out sportscardforum.com. A lot of great info on there, all things collectibles. Tell them that asterisk censored asterisk sent you. My screen name on there. We'll see you around.